When you open Stata, you see these five elements. The variable list for the active data set, properties of the selected variables, a command window, a command review window, and an output window. I'm using Stata version 13. If you're using a different version of Stata, these five elements may be arranged differently, but they function the same. There is a sixth element, the do file window, which I will cover later. What is Stata? Stata is a statistical software package that's used to manage and analyze data sets. To demonstrate how these windows interact with one another, let's open a data set. The Stata software package comes with a number of example data sets and many predefined commands used for data management and analysis. The makers of Stata allow people to use additional user-defined commands to Stata. These user-defined commands must be documented and registered with Stata so that people like you and I can search for and install these additional commands. Let us open one of Stata's example toy data sets to learn about the variables list window. To do this, we select File from the menu bar and then select Example Datasets. A help window appears and we select Example Datasets installed with Stata. For this example, I want you to select the Use command next to Cancer.dta. Note that the .dta ending tells you that this is a Stata dataset and Use is the Stata command to open a dataset. What happened? The Stata example dataset called Cancer opened in your variables window and a number of other windows changed. Let us talk about each window. The cancer dataset opened in the variables window. All of the variables in the dataset are listed. The column called variable shows the variable name as it was coded. And the label column displays a descriptive label for each variable created when the data were cleaned. Do all variables need to be labeled? No, there are four variables in this dataset that are not labeled. What do you think the label underscore T means? It's hard to say without a label, which underscores the importance of clearly labeling when you are managing data. When the variable study time is selected in the variables window, the properties window provides detailed information about the variable, including its label, which starts months to death, and the variable format. This variable has integer values, which are whole numbers, not decimals and the format %8.0 indicates that the variable can be up to eight digits long with a max value of 99,999,999. This window also describes the data set, which has eight variables and 48 observations. The command window is where the user enters commands. A command is a function, also called an algorithm, and it's programmed into Stata to perform a data process or analysis step. Use of the command window requires that the user knows the name and options for each command she wishes to use. The lessons in this course provide example code for commands that you will use in population data survey analysis. Let us see what happens when we type a command into the command window and press enter. I specify the tabulate command and the variable died, then press enter. Notice that a new line of text appears in the command review window. The review window keeps a history of all commands that you have used in this session of Stata. If you close Stata and reopen it, this history of commands will be lost, which is why intermediate Stata programmers use do files. When a command does not run correctly, for example, because you mistyped it, then the command appears in red text. When you single left click a line in the review window, it adds it to the command window where you can edit it and rerun it. This is helpful when you want to rerun a command with a slight modification and you do not want to retype it. The output window is exactly what you would expect. It lists the command that was submitted and any statistical output or explanations of how the dataset changed. I have been demonstrating the tabulate statement, which is a statistical command and it produces percentages and counts in a table format in the output window. If I type a data management command like keep if age greater than 50, then the output window explains that 12 observations, the observations where the age was less than or equal to 50, were deleted. A large number of the key commands in Stata can be accessed through the menu bar and are organized under the headers data, graphics, and statistics. The tabulate statement, for example, can be accessed under statistics, summaries, tables, and tests, frequency tables, one-way table. This opens a new window where you can select the variable died from the list of categorical variables in the dataset, 
When we select the Submit button, Stata automatically generates the code for the tabulate statement and adds it to the review window. The summary statistics appear in the output window. Do files. Learning how to use do files will change your life in the world of Stata. Do files are a permanent record of a series of commands that allow you to track and repeat your work. Whether you are working on a team, managing the cleaning of a data set, or producing results for a public presentation, you will want a transparent record of all commands performed. To make a new do file, select the following from the menu. Window, do file editor, new do file editor, or click the new do file editor button. The do file will open in a new window. Let us type the same command into the do file that we typed into the command line and which we generated through the menus. To submit this command, we click the Execute button, which looks like a piece of paper in a right arrow. Once again, a command is added to the review window and our output appears in the output window. Notice that the command is summarized in a single line of text which refers back to the do file and its location. To save a do file, select the Save button inside of the do file window. You can open an existing do file by either clicking through the do file window or through the main Stata window.